Hey dreamers, and welcome to today's steam work design build challenge. An anemone, such a hard word to say. Anemone. anemone. I'm Frances with the National Children's Museum. Today, I've been thinking a lot about homes, but not the kind of home that you or I live in, the kind of homes that wild animals live in. There are so many different kinds of structures or shelters that animals make out in the wild to protect themselves. My son Leo and I are going to try to build some of those homes that animals would live in right here in our own house with materials we have on hand. We're gonna try for a cave for a bear or bat, a coral reef for some tropical fish, and our very own haphazard structure for the squirrels who live in our own backyard. Who knows, maybe tonight one of the squirrels will come and use our structure to protect themselves from the rain. Come on, let's go get building. All right. Hey, Leo, what are we doing? Are we making a cave? Yeah. For what animal? Um. What animals live in, bear in caves? Bear. Bat. A bat does live in a cave, that's true. What other animal that starts with a bee lives in a cave? He hibernates there. Uh, We're going on a bears. bears. Bears live in caves. Okay, can you take these pillows here that we collected and put them in the cave so it's cozy for your bears and your bats? And then I will put a blanket over the top. Okay, go ahead. I'm going. You're doing a great job. Make it cozy. Bears live in caves for a long time, right? When they hibernate during the winter, they go to sleep in a cave. And they stay there for the whole winter until it's springtime. Okay. Can you put them inside the cave? One, two, three. Well, that's the first one, one. That's the second one, two. And I have one more. What number is that if I have one more? One more big bear. That's number four. We got all the bears. We got all of them in there? Okay, should I put the big soft blanket over the top to make it extra dark? Yeah. Okay, let me do that. Can I come in? Yeah. I can, okay, I'm gonna come in over this side. Whoa. Wow, we're in a cave, it's dark. It's a little cool. And we're with all our bears because bears live in caves. And if there were bats in here, where would the bats be? Do you remember? They hang from the, the trees or the ceiling. You know in the winter, bears hibernate in their, what they call dens. They could be a cave snuggle all together in a heap, in a pile, to keep warm, and they sleep for a long, long time. All right, dreamers, we're back outside, and now we're building a coral reef. I'm using a water table, some rocks, just ordinary white ones that I have in my garden, but you could use any. I have some sidewalk chalk, which I thought would make some great colorful coral, as well as some colorful blocks and flowers. And then, little animal friends. I'll show you in a minute. Here, come on, build with me for a second. See if we can make a coral reef. Now this one, of course, is not for real animals, just some of the imaginary kind. So for animals, the little turtle here in the back. I have my octopus. I like to hide at the bottom of the coral reef. I have an anemone such a hard word to say. I thought this fishy could poke through. Let's see if we can make him do that. It's kind of fun. A little boat in the background. A fish, a starfish, and I had a real shell too, so I thought I'd add that to the mix. All right, time for a close up. Come see my coral reef. And what's that one? What are we using that one as? 
It's an uh, anemone. I can't say it either. Anemone. anemone. Well said. And that's our, what's that that you're holding in your hand? A fish. A fish. An anemone. Yeah. Some fish live there. That's where clownfish live. Mm-hmm. We're going to make a squirrel house. Can you line them up like this to make a shelter? So it's a little place where animals could come. That's really good. Here's some more. <laughs> Sometimes it helps if you dig our sticks into the ground a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if we can find some more sticks and some animals. We're going to show the squirrels how they can use our animal house. This our elephant. Whee! Whee! Yay! You have a horse? Whee! Wow, look at our animals. Oh, they've been joined by a race car. All right, dreamers, thanks for watching us build. We made a bear cave using our dining room table and chairs, some pillows and blankets, it's a really cozy place to read to when we even found some teddy bears to keep us company. We made a coral reef using a water table, some rocks, some blocks, and some fish we had on hand. And we also made a squirrel house using just some sticks we found in the garden. Yes, it became a house for some jungle animals, but hopefully a squirrel gets some use out of it tonight when it rains and we bring the toys inside. Thanks for watching. Remember, steamwork makes the dream work and we're all in this together. See you next time. Bye.